Hi there, Indo4 here. Welcome back to LNWI. It's not a late night, but I don't really care. I'm just going to talk about what's on my mind right now. And what... Well, yeah. Okay, so, the topic of the th today... Tonight, today, whatever it is for you gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, is... Family. I know. It's a bit weird. Maybe controversial, but if I'm gonna be honest right here, right now, I don't have the best family. I know, coming from an ex Soviet country, not really surprising. Uh, my dad, he, he's not really there for me, he doesn't care. My mother, same thing, except the only time she is there for me is when she needs something and when. Well, yeah, only when I'm useful to her. When I try to go up to her and ask her something. Just, no, just what do I need to buy you so you stop annoying me? And now, the next thing I want to talk about is... If you're a parent, should you love your child? Or should you give them stuff and make them think they love you? Let that marinate for a second. And which one do you think, which option do you think my parents choose? Obviously. Not the one where they actually love me and genuinely care about me. No. What they cared about was seeing a temporary smile on my face and temporarily, you know, me being gone away from their faces or their space. But little did they know that it would literally, like, I'm literally... I'm gonna be honest, I'm depressed, I'm sad every day, because of them. Now, do I sound spoiled? Yes. Am I? Probably. Do you know what I'm not spoiled in, though? Love. And do you know why I don't love my parents? Because they weren't there for me. So why should I be there for them? And it's just... You know, every time, you know, I feel sad or whatever. Do you think I go to them? <laughs> no. <laughs> You'd be stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, but you get what I mean. It's just my family has, you know, not been the best. They've been terrible, actually, but one could argue. I mean, sure, they took care of me, you know, for the, in, for, in the start. But, you know, since, you know, pretty much middle school, they haven't really cared about me. They just don't at all. Yeah. I can't really, I can't really express enough. I can't express it enough that, you know, my parents just don't love me. They just don't. Every time I'm looking for, you know, to have my back, you know, I thought my parents or my family at least would have my back. But no, every time something happens in school, or whatever, they're always on the teacher's side, or on the kid's whatever side. And I'm, okay, I'm not a great student, I don't get full A's, but I'm respectful, I'm kind, I stay out of people's business, I do, I, I'm just, I'm just a loner pretty much, I do nothing. And yet people still have an issue with me, which is... If you have an issue with a person like me, like, I don't get in your way, I don't ask you to look at me, like, well, I don't even know. My teacher today, she said, well, she did, well, yeah, I was, you know, first time seeing her in, like, three or four months, and I'm like, you know, I'm respectful, I'm kind, you know, I answer all of her questions, I'm active during her lesson, you know, all, all this good stuff. But then, you know... I show her, you know, like this assignment or whatever we were doing, me and my friends, and she's like, eh, your nails are too long, eh, ew, ew. Then, then I'm just sitting there like, what? Did, did, did she mean something else, or? She's like, no. And I didn't ask her, but I was just stumped, because I was like, how are my nails an issue? They're only four millimeters long, and I'm like, huh? And then she just like, no, just put the paper on this desk, because my friends were sitting in front of me. You know, two, two seats. 
well, a, well, a table in front of me, okay. And on my table was the paper or whatever. And she's just like, ah, I put it on this table in my friend's room. I'm just like, I wish I, I, like, I wasn't too shocked that I just looked her right in the face with my stone cold eyes. I did that once to a teacher. She never bothered or did anything to me again. Should have done the same, but I was just, I was genuinely just so shocked because I was like, how does a person like this have an issue? Like, what? You're a grown ass woman, a teacher, 30 plus. You have an issue with me? My nails? What? How privileged are you? And how pathetic are you to go after my... Th the way I look? Judging a book by its cover? The only rare time I swear will be now. And that will be a big fat fuck you to the teacher. Because just fuck you. Genuinely fuck you and my parents for being on the teacher's side because they haven't accepted the fact that I'm just different. I don't want to be, you know, a full man. Now, I'm not trans or anything. No, don't get the wrong idea. Maybe I am, but no. But just, like, what, why am I surprised living in an ex-Soviet household? Of course, they're going to be on the teacher's side, but... You know, I'm not really surprised. It just adds another, you know, cherry on top of the diary of a cake that my parents already are, or my household, whatever. There's just, you know, just every day gives me more reason. I get more reasons to hate, dislike my parents. Because they also talk behind my back. They talk bad about me to do all these things. They don't care. I don't know, man. Just... I like to just... Say, screw you to two people, for two things. One, this one teacher, and a special t one to my parents. Fuck you, mom and dad, for being such pieces of shit. I genuinely mean that. Now, my, do I regret saying that? A little bit, because they're my parents. Of course I would. But, do they deserve to hear that? Absolutely. Screw you. For not being on my side. You're a stranger. Over your own damn son? I'm at a loss for words. I understand, sometimes people can be wrong, I know, I've been wrong, all of us have been wrong, but who is wrong in this situation? It's obviously the teacher. She literally, she attacked my appearance or made fun of it. My parents are like, fuck you, mom and dad, for one more time, assholes, prefer to be on some random woman's side over your own damn sons. Screw you. I'm sorry, Dwayne. Sorry that this episode's a bit hostile. It's a bit, you know, sad. But there is no other way to put it. This has been my life for pretty much, like, over half a decade now. More, even, I'd say. And as soon as I get into university, I am leaving this house behind. I am leaving my parents behind. I I never want to see them again. I genuinely mean that. I never do. I don't want to see these people again. Because they don't have my back. They don't love me. They don't care about me. And just thank you, mom and dad, for... Not loving me when I was young. And look what I've turned out to be now. Well, obviously, way smarter and more caring about other people than you. 
but, you know, a bit of an emotional mess as well, but everything has its trade-offs. Sorry, boys, for the rants and for my bad language, but really had to just get this off my chest. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And Indo, out. See ya.